Hi everyone, it's April with Hair 101 and we're gonna do a really fun, short textured haircut on her. I'm gonna be using the razor and the shears. So I'm going to be using the feather razor. This runs about 30 to $40 in between there. And, um, and then I also have my 5.5 shears now i don't they don't sell these anymore people keep asking me the brand so i think the 5.5 design master kasha shears that are offset i think they would be pretty comparable to these so that was what i would say to get if you wanted to get a good pair of shears um so to start this haircut we i'm parting her hair where she normally parts she parts on the side and then um, the back of the haircut is where i'm going to start working and to get the back of this haircut we do need to take out a lot of bulk because she has really, really super thick hair and she wants a lot of texture and she wants to be able to just kind of have it messy and, and fun and be able to spike it or wear it down. Just really, really soft texture throughout all of it. So we're gonna go ahead and just part the back right down the middle. And then I'm gonna take my razor. And so this is the first section I'm gonna be working on is just right here at the, the neckline and then the, the nape area. So the length on this is not, it's not terribly too long, for, or it's not way too long. She doesn't want a ton of length off of the back. I think she needs more bulk removed because she kind of showed me a picture and it looked like there was some longer lengths throughout. So I'm just gonna go through her neckline and take off the neck hairs that are like right against her neck just to clean that up a little bit. So I'm just kind of combing the hair up and seeing if there's anything that grows down that's a little bit too far down and just shaving those off. And this has a guard on the razor, so it's, it's safe to just go ahead and go like that and scrape it off. You just have to be careful to make sure that they don't have any moles that stand out that you're gonna be cutting off. So just look for that. And as long as you have your guard on, you should be able to do do that with no problem. Okay, so now we can see a little bit better what's going on here. And I'm going to take sections from the middle and work from the side over. So I'm gonna take this vertical section and I'm just going to carve out. So I'm pulling it out straight from the head and then I'm gonna carve out just chunks so that she has some texture coming through here. And I'm gonna do that all the way across. And this will get it a little bit shorter just because it's taking out some of that bulk and leaving a lot more short hair than there would be long. So now that it looks a little bit more PC and tight into her neck, but it still has length, I think that that's pretty good for down in this section in here. I'm going to lift all of this up straight now and carve out a little bit more, just a little bit around um, the top section. There we go. So now all of this lays in a little bit better. It has some movement and I think we're good with that section. So now we're gonna move up here. I'm gonna grab the shears now. We're gonna need to remove a lot of this bulk right in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'll finish up the back first, but keep everything from the ear forward, combed forward so that we can just work on the back section. So now back here, we're going to take some layers and just kind of point cut them out. So you can see this is where we razor it out and it's shorter. That's where I'm gonna use as my guide to bring this up. So I'm just gonna kind of point cut deep into this hair just to get a little bit of length off because I think it does need a little bit off in here. And I'm gonna take half of that section I just cut and then add a little bit more hair to it and do the same thing. And I'm going to continue to, to move my guide with this because I want this hair that's right here behind her ear to be cut short also because we're going to be going up and over the ear. 
So make sure that your guide is moving with you and following up from that shorter piece in the back. So because her haircut was previously left longer right in here, we're cutting a little bit more off right here than we did in the very back. And that's one thing that I think can be hard when you're trying to recreate these haircuts is that you're starting from a different point than I am. Most likely you're not going to be starting exactly where her haircut was. So you're going to need to know what guide you're following right here. And if their hair was longer, you'd be cutting off a lot more, but you're trying to get it to be pretty much round layers um, from this bottom part all the way up into here. So it's pretty uniform, but also not just blunt cut. They're going to be deep point cuts so that it can be really soft on the texture. But you can see right in here how this is prepping this to go up and over her ear, but still have some fun length and texture. So we're gonna go over to the other side and I'm just going to take half of the previous section that we started with at first and half of the new hair and just blend that right back up, doing round the ears. Make sure your sections are as clean as you can get them because that really helps with the end result of the haircut and it helps you keep track of your guide also. It's easy to lose your guide if you start taking too much hair or pulling hair from the wrong spot because then it looks like it's longer or shorter. Okay, so now that we have the length established back here and this is all what we want, I'm going to take the razor and go back into this top section of the back of the head and razor out some of the texture in here too because the bottom's good, but this needs a little bit more fun in it. So, And I'm taking the, the razor and I'm just kind of penciling out chunks of hair. And if their hair is not very thick, you need to be more conservative on this step. But she has a lot, so I feel like I can take a decent amount. But you'll be able to just take it slowly and make sure that you don't, that you can see what the hair is doing. Make sure you're not taking too much out. And then right here, when we get around here to where the ear meets, I'm going to start taking the sections this way and pulling them forward and piecing them out this way, just because I want to take a little bit more of the bulk out right here. And if you cut with the razor in the direction you're going, you can see how it's going to be laying and you can take little chunks out that you might think need to go. So I'm just going to keep doing that diagonal forward until the hair doesn't reach anymore, which is pretty much there. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on this side. Well, first we're going to take the hair up sideways and we're just going to pencil out some of the bulk. And then once again, when we get down to this section by the ear, I'm going to take sections this way, diagonal, back, and then just slice out more of the hair with the razor just to give it some fun detail. All right. Okay, so for the front of this hair, I'm going to start on the sides so that we can leave, I'm gonna to try to leave some of this length on the top. She wants to be able to do like a pompadour if she wants or whatever, so we definitely need to tighten up these sides more than worrying about the top for right now. So the next step will be to part off the section of hair that's just below the roll of the head on the side right above the ear. And we're just gonna comb everything else away. And I'm gonna use my razor for this because I want it to be really soft and I want there to be kind of shaggy pieces. If you cut it really, really tight and clean right here, it just, it won't look how she wants it to look. She wants it to be soft and piecey and textured. So I'm using the razor and I have a little guide established back here.
from the, la the last section that we did. So um, I'm going to actually take a little bit less. But that's going to help us decide how long to leave it with the razor. So we're going to take this and now we're going to pull the hair this way. And this will leave a, a long sideburn for her hair, but it will keep the right over the ear short. So we're going to pull all the hair this way and then use this short guide right here as, as the guide to start for this. And then we're just going to kind of razor it forward. Okay, and then also I'm going to piece out some of the pieces right above her ear and even knock one of them off because we want it to still kind of show through. And then on, on the sideburn, I'm going to just take some of it out because we have a lot more hair that's coming down and I don't want it to be too thick. So same thing, I'm going to pull it back this way. We're going to do a diagonal back section again and find the guide from this short piece up here. Just barely let the guide slip out of your fingers and then razor the hair forward like that. And then pencil through. This will be the detail work that you're doing just to get some of the bulk out. And it's important to get the bulk out right here because you don't want it to look like these poofy sides. You want it to be able to lay in and tuck if they need to get it out of the way and have the balance on the top instead of poking out on the sides. So make sure you're doing that. And I'm just going to keep taking those sections until I get to the top part of her head. So right as the head, like the mohawk section would start, that's where I'm going to stop doing this. And there's a guide underneath now that I can see all the way through. And then right above here, it's looking a little bit too thick. So I'm going to make sure to take my razor through that. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And this is some stuff that we might have to detail out when it's dry. But I can tell that it's a little bit too long right now, right above her ear. So I'm just going to take some of it out. And that's good. It's okay if it doesn't connect, if it doesn't all blend right there, because we want this to be really PC. So it's okay to have like one really short piece right in the air area of her ear. Okay, so we're flipping all of this back over the other direction now. And the same thing as we did on the other side. We're just going to pull it back and razor it down, leaving more length in the front. And right above her ear, I was doing it a little bit shorter. That's what I love about the razor. You can just kind of go in there and play and carve out what you don't like. So there we go. Keep pulling this hair. Back. And then right to the roll of the head is where we're going to stop again because we want to be able to leave some of that length on the top. Okay, and then just go in and pencil out some of this for texture just like we did on the other side. this really long, thick top that we need to mess with. It would be really fun to let this hang over, but she wants to have way more fun with her hair than just letting it hang there. She wants to be able to go crazy with it. We're gonna have to leave this longer than you might think because in order to get pompadour, you need it to be at least as tall as you want it, but then a little bit extra to kind of curve back. So I'm gonna establish where I want that to go and you can kind of let the hair bend and you see where it's the curve starts, that's probably where it would naturally want to do the pompadour anyway. So go a little bit above that. Um, if you want exact, I could tell you, hold on. From the front of her head, I'd say about six inches. Or no, that's five. Between five and six. Somewhere between five and six inches is what we're going to want to leave on the top for this. So there's a little ruler on your comb, if you didn't know, most combs have these. I'm going to put my fingers right there and then you can see her bangs are actually already cut to that length. So we're just going to be matching up the rest of this mohawk section to that shorter piece that she already had cut for her bangs. And I'm just going to point cut this really deep because we want to keep texture in this haircut. And I'm going to follow it straight back all the way back until it meets up with this back section. 
And then I'm going to switch sides because I like to be able to cut from the back guide too. So I'm pulling it straight up and I can see this back guide now and I can see the front guide now and now I can just blend those two together so that they'll be like flawless and meeting. They won't be like a really long chunk in the back. So now we have this middle section cut to our guide. So now we need to get the rest of the hair to meet up to that. So now I'm going to take the mohawk section in horizontal sections. And we're going to take them straight up. And then we see that guide in the middle. We're just going to clip off these ends. So we're making a straight line. And you can just go all the way back. and we're point cutting still. And it's good to leave a little bit of extra length with this because once we go in and we start razoring it out, it's going to shorten it a little bit. And if you start too short and then have to razor it out to get the right look, then it's just like you kind of can't go back. It's always better to leave a little bit more and you can do it in the dry cutting if you have to. And this should be our last section up here. There's not much that's not meeting. Okay. All right, so now the last thing I wanna make sure is that the top and the sides have some kind of a meet up in them so they're not completely disconnected. So I'm going to just pull the sides out like this and just do some deep point cutting if it doesn't really blend in. Because you can see how it, it's short and then really long. So we're going to make sure that we're pulling it out to a straight point this way and only cut off the longer part. And so this will create a little bit of a mohawk, like a, a V at the top of her head, and that's okay. We'd rather have that than just like too much hair hanging over. But make sure you're going out straight and then doing a straight line from the longer part of, of the haircut. There we go. So you can see I still have this long piece from the top that just needs to be chopped off. Okay. The basic cuts in, but we need to do a lot more texture. So I'm going to grab my razor again and we need to work on this front and top. Okay. So for the bang, we, we have the basic cut in here to where we have this longer on top, but we want some really fun short pieces to frame around her face. And we kind of have some of that going on in here from the, the around her ear cut that we did. But we want some more, so we're going to take the razor in. I'm going to just section off just this front piece of her hair, just the fringe area. And everything else will go back. And I'm just going to carve out some really fun detail with the razor. And I'm going to be leaving some longer pieces. But just close to her face, I'm going to do some even baby bangs in here. And these are done with the razors, so they should be able to still fly up and blend in with those longer pieces that we have on top, because they're going to have so much of this texture in them from being cut with a razor. So they should blend really well to this haircut and not have a problem with, with going back up into the haircut if she wants to wear it up. All right, so then we're just gonna go in here, and now this is all quite a bit longer. I'm just gonna let this shorter piece hang out and then just cut a few detail pieces to kind of blend in this. And you'll notice that this is actually really heavy now because she parts her hair over here. So it might be a little, you can leave it a little bit asymmetric, and I think I will, because that's fun. And if she hates it, I can cut it off after, but I'm gonna leave it and just thin it out so that we have tons and tons of texture in this. So I want to be able to kind of see through some of this on the ends, just in that little bit of the ends. I want it thin enough to where I can not have it so thick, I can kind of see through it a little bit. That's when you know you got enough texture in there for this. Okay. And I'm liking this long piece on the side. I'm not going to cut all those off because they're fun and we can deal with those later if she wants to texture them more, but or cut them off even. So that's the, the fringe area. We're done with that. And now I'm going to go in the top and we need to just razor it like crazy. So I'm going to start in the back and I'm going to pull this hair straight up. 
And all of this hair that's falling has already been razored, so you don't need to worry about that. I'm just going to razor out the top a little bit. And this is also going to help if she did want to wear her hair up. It's going to help a ton because all of these shorter pieces, they're going to be supporting the longer hair that's laying on top of them. So now you can see why I said it's important to start longer because this is taking out quite a bit of the bulk but leaving just a little bit of this long hair to lay over the short pieces to give it that illusion that it's still pretty long. And I might even have to use some thinning shears on this girl because she's got lots of hair. And I'm going to blow dry just really messy with my fingers. I'm going to use some, um, we're going to put some blow dry pillow proof. This is the primer, the blow dry primer. Just a teeny bit through her hair. And then we're going to use some root pump. Just, I'm just going to use a teeny bit of this, not much. There we go, just in the back, just to give her a little bit of body back here. Okay, let's go. So I'm going to direct this kind of over to the side that she parts on and then the rest of it just kind of forward and there's lots of hair on the ground. So it's down. Right? Hers is yeah. down. Yeah, it's down. It's like all forward and down. Yeah. It's dry. I'm just going to do some detail cutting. We're liking this side. This side's a little bit thick and that's always something that you deal with when you have a side part because all of that hair comes and lays on top of each other and I usually end up doing this in the dry cutting. So you can see this is a pretty heavy section still and if you have a really sharp razor you can go in and cut a little bit of it out dry with the razor. And I'm going to piece it around her face a little bit more. There we go. So you can see that it's starting to lay in a little bit better, but we're leaving all this length on the top. So I'm just going to take some of the bulk out of this side section right above her ear. So for this haircut, even is not fun. We want it uneven and PC, but still, I mean, it needs to look even enough to where it's not like, oops, what happened? But but we're liking the uneven texture everywhere, so. Maybe even some funner pieces right in here, because we can. There we go. Okay, so now I'm feeling like this is just really heavy still. I'm gonna take the thinning shirts and just do a couple passes and I kind of point them down into the hair but don't go too far just to get some of this bulk out of the top and then I think it's pretty good now and the thinning shears are really good for this because we don't want to take it too short we want to have some stuff to play with over her ears and stuff so I'm just going to take the thinning shears until it doesn't look like it's heavy anymore there we go that's better all right I'm going to blow dry her hair one more time just to get the, the cut hairs out of it and then she will be done. Okay, you guys, we are donezo. And um, that is our cut and color for the day. I hope you guys liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and tell your friends and your hair school friends and their friends. And let's get everybody cutting hair a lot more and sharpen our skills, I guess. Okay, so that is our haircut and color today. And I hope you guys liked it. Let me know. If you want to see the color that we did on her, then there's going to be a link right here. So click on that to see how we did her color. And tune in for, no, 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 don't tune in, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> and so that's it today, and hopefully you guys liked it. We'll see you next time. Bye.